This document is about how to use chip pullers. Why use a chip puller? When you remove chips from a breadboard or a socket on a printed circuit board, a fair amount of force is required sometimes. If it wasn't, then chips could fall out or they could have poor connections. If you remove chips by hand, then this can damage the chips. So here's an example of a chip that was removed by hand. Notice the bent pin over here. Here's another chip that was removed by hand. Note how all of these pins have been bent in a particular direction. That indicates which way the chip was removed from the board. Here's another example. Again, you can see pins bent in one direction that shows you the way that the chip was removed. Now, if enough pins are bent, then they can break off when they're straightened, like these two. So the chip might still actually work, but it can't, it's not usable because the pins won't stick into anything. So even though it's electrically correct, it's not usable. So what's a chip puller? Here's one chip puller. And here's another. How do you use one? Well, so here we have a chip and a breadboard. You see the chip puller down around it. So put the jaws of the chip of the chip puller over the ends of the chip. So you see the one jaw is in under this end of the chip. This jaw is going to go under this end of the chip. Then pull up evenly so that as the chip moves up, then the pins are pulled out straight instead of bent to the side. So always use a chip puller to remove a chip from a breadboard or a socket.